being a kind of guy that's a very complete vision of, of um, what is a parasite, which is a monthly topic. And in a way, the talk, I'll say, say a few words about this. Um, so like this, parasites on the web, computational objects operating digital collectives. We parasite each other and live amidst parasites, Sarah argues. We interrupt, endanger, and corrupt, but also invent, order, and consolidate. We switch hosts and guests, gifts and debts, objects and subjects. We make noise, but the noise makes us. This is the new logic, the logic of the collective. This talk shares a personal and an optimistic view on programmatic talk to collectives on the web. It celebrates paratism in the digital age. So Jorge, he's an architect, as I hope many of you know of this, a research ba a researcher based in CAD group of, in, at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, Department of Architecture in Zurich. His research interest is in overlapping between information and communications technology and architecture. He's fascinated with the new abilities that traditional objects gain by becoming computational objects online. He looks at this phenomenon with architectonic vision. Jorge is currently pursuing his PhD project supervised by uh, Professor Hoberstadt at the Chair for Computed Aided Architecture. He holds a Master of Advanced Studies degree um, in Computer Aided Architectural Design from ETH Zurich and a Master of um, Advanced Architecture degree with specialization in Digital techn Tectonics from IAAC. Barcelona and he graduated uh, from Universidad uh, Michoacana de San Nicolás de Hidalgo Faculty of Architecture, Mexico. So thank you, Jorge, for being with us tonight and giving us an insight of your research of your world. Uh, just a little, uh, just a little, before we start, we are here also with the work uh, of the month. And just be please careful because it's very delicate here and there's Cadmium, <laughs> so do not touch it. <laughs> and yeah, thank you. <laughs> 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 we can, we can start. Where we start. Okay. You're in the uh, uh, Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Petra. Uh, very formal introduction. Uh, thank you, Lisa, Petra, Marcel, and uh, else in the group. Good uh, to for inviting. I'm a huge fan, you know, I'm a huge fan of this thing that you're doing. I'm very happy to be here. So then I'm, I'm a trained architect and a self-taught uh, computer programmer. So I, um, I like computers. I, I get fascinated by the things that we can do with them. Always uh, empowering us in a way uh, to, to do new things. And uh, I am part of our group. Uh, based in here in Zurich and in Vienna, here at the Chef of Cat and in Vienna and in TU. And uh, yeah, it's, it's needless to say that it's interdisciplinary. Yeah. So it's interdisciplinary. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then we share, we share very much our, our curiosities and questions and interests, but pretty much with this uh, uh, looking at, uh, looking at, uh, uh, at the world today. We're very curious at the, what, what this world is in, in the digital with computers. So, uh, yes. So I'm, I'm going to share my work. So I'm going to share how I render this interest that I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. So, and I and, and, and we the, the group we believe in, in, in coding as literacy. So then we believe that that coding can be <clears throat> comparable to to the to the classical notion of literacy, as in reading, writing, arithmetic, and all these things. So, so we believe that this is this is a crucial thing that probably at the moment we don't know how good it is, but I mean, com uh, computers are here to stay. So then, it, it, it's 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 something that that's why it's uh, the self-taught. I mean, uh, yeah, by myself and by ourselves. So not taking it as as uh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, so then, and then, how I render these experiments? So it's really I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much focused on the web, on the web as this uh, uh, as the internet protocol that where that, that is everywhere and nowhere. So it's here and there, but you cannot see it and touch it. 
and it's vast as complicated as our everyday life. So there I'm, I'm, I'm very much like, I'm very much interested there, and then how I navigate on the web. So then I use, um, on the other hand, I'm interested in, 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 uh, in uh, computer science. So then this is the first, this is the first Thema talk, so then the theme is Parasite. So then last week we, we sat around and read about, read a book of Michel Serre called The Parasite, 1982, something like this. So then I thought I could continue from there, I could start from there, from, 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 this per, from the perspective of this French philosopher. Oops. So then it, I think it's very important to, to start by saying that the, the parasite for, in, this, in his terms, goes beyond the scientific definition of a parasite. So like, parasitology is a parasite, is, uh, uh, the parasite live on, on the, the host or in, they live on, in, with the host. So then usually uh, parasites are not mammals. So then a parasite would be in the sense it would be a predator, no? a predator. And then, uh, so then he says, okay, uh, let's think about the parasite as its, its etymological definition is, which, which means uh, to have dinner next to each other. So, so we are parasites if we start, I mean, we share this collective food. I mean, literally, we are parasites. Uh, so then, uh, so then, everything, so then if you look at this abstract, everything can be a parasite. So we are parasites of directly of nature. I mean, the, this relationship that we have with the animals that we eat, and we the feel, the feel, the live, so and we eat them all, we don't get anything to waste. And, uh, and then he's, he's, he starts with, with the story of, of, a, of a parasite. So then he starts by saying, okay, there's, these are many stories, huh? but then the first story starts like this. So he says, okay, there's this, this city rat that invites the countryside rat, rat to have a feast. So then the countryside is the parasite, and the, and the rat is the host. So then they are all eating from the leftovers of the, of, uh, the tax holder. So we had a party and then left some stuff there, and if you left, so then they are all being the parasite of the tax collector. So then the tax collector is the parasite of the fat of the land. He's not really not producing anything, so then he's getting things from it. So and then so on, so on, so on, so on. So this is the kind of relations, the parasitic relations that, that he's trying to tell with these uh, stories. So then we parasite each other, we live among parasites, so uh, this is our, our environment. So this is this is this black box that is called the collective. So this collective is parasitic. So we so this is the whole, as, as he says. And then there is no, of course, there is no system. There is no collective without noise, without the parasite. So then, so then this this uh, this noise interrupts things. But then at the same time, it, it, this noise challenge system. But well, at the same time, he consolidates the system. He re renews the system. So in a way, if, if, uh, if these two rats that are, that are uh, having dinner at the house of the tax, of the, of the tax collector, uh, if the time they are having dinner, the tax collector makes noise and interrupts the dinner. They get stressed. And then they think about this noise. I mean, they kind of uh, uh, integrate the noise to the system of eating, to be, between them being eating then it becomes a noise, they stop, the, the food is interrupted, and then they say, what is this? There's no problem, okay, there's no problem, let's continue. And then they continue, and then this noise comes again, but then this noise became part of the system, so then they don't care about it. So then the system, in a way, became more complex. So this is, this is and then you take this uh, uh, power handle. Huh? <clears throat> then to, 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 to grasp, this this whole collective. Then he tells this. Uh, I don't need this yeah. He tells these stories about the systems of communication. Okay, there's the collective. We need to talk to each other. So it's okay. The first the, the, the first system of communication. One system of communication is that of uh, monads. So this Leibniz idea of these entities that have no windows and then they have no extension. 
So and then, and then I will like to explain the whole world like this, and then say, and then Sir say, okay, uh, if we think about it as monads, we still need to communicate, but we communicate through the God. So then, us we talk to the God, and the God talks to the other monad back. And in this setup, this noise becomes like so minuscule, it becomes almost zero, like a grain of sand. Then another system of communication, then it comes with uh, uh, Hermes. So then this guy, he's with the gods, he's here, he, he speaks every language, and then uh, you send a message, and then you get the message plus minus the noise. The noise from him, the noise from, from uh, the, the, not basically the noise from him, because he's a medi mediator. And then he says, okay, but then there's another system of communication in the Pentecostes. Well, in Pentecostes, uh, uh, Pente this this figure that allows everyone to talk to each other in their own language and understand in the in. So if I if I, if I talk to you in my language, which is not yours, you understand in your language. So then, this system of communication has no mediation. So then, and then, and then, and then, in a way, he argues that we should aim at that. I mean, his philosophy is aiming at this: our, our communication without mediation. Uh, okay, and then the collective again with the collective, it's full of paradoxes. So the parasite. So the, this collective is full of paradoxes, and then he, in a way, celebrates all these paradoxes, and then he introduces all these paradoxes as the new logics. So the new logics is a paradox. So in terms that a paradox is the limit of, of, of logics, and then he celebrates it. So he says, for instance, uh, with music, to, to, play, to, to play together like an orchestra or, or a simple band, rock band, whatever, to play together, to, very, to be very good at playing together, all the elements should be as independent and not intrusive with the other one. So all these partitures, there's no party, no, there's no single partitures for single elements, for single for all the instruments. So each instrument has their own partiture, and then they should go. And this is the way it plays. If the band is good, if the orchestra is good, the more they play by themselves in sync, the better the music is. Or this other paradox of uh, of the politician. So you say, okay, the politician is the, the major, the, the most present parasite. It, the politician is here everywhere. So the politician is the most present because we communicate through him. I mean, we were, we were talking about laws and we were talking about implementing all these uh, uh, laws and stuff, creating the laws. So it's okay, the politician is the first one, but at the same time, he's the first disappearing if there's some noise in the system. So there's. So the politician is there, but if there's noise, then he's the first to leave. And then another parasite comes. So this is this kind of the, the, the game that he's uh, uh, that, that, that he's tra trying to celebrate. And then it's not only this parasitic, uh, this role between going host, parasite, host, parasite, but it's only the characterization of, of, of individuals. So uh, for instance, uh, the Tartuffe, he comes to his family, he makes a lot of noise, he makes a mess, he starts, he's uh, uh, indecisive, so he never decides what he is, but he's everywhere, he's, he's trying to make, to play, he's playing with everyone, and he's no one at the same time, I mean, he's, he's not a fine character, but he's at the end Tartuffe. Yeah, so, so then, so then he, he plays with this, uh, not only being a host and a guest, but you yourself. I mean, you yourself have certain certain play while you are in different uh, different places, and this is also a celebration. This is some, something to be celebrated. I think at the end he's spelled back, but uh, that's, an, that's kind of because of what he did. So then, with this play of characterization, so then we have a, a, a biblical story, a fiction, and uh, events of the world. So then, this this story came last season in, in the in the Kultur Folger, uh, about David and Goliath. We talk a lot with, with the team of Kultur Folger and, and Miro about this story. To say, okay, this story of David and Goliath is the story of the underdog. Right? So then you have uh, Goliath, who is the leader, the stronger, the giant, and then they're going to have battle one to one. 
to, to settle that conflict. And then, of course, everybody laughs at, laughs at him. Ha, ha. But then uh, uh, David, he's just a guy, uh, a shepherd, and then young. So yeah, he's going to lose. And then, Jack, he wins. But then can we, can we tell, can we say that the victim is Goliath? So can we say that David, uh, David was uh, a guy with the animals. He had all the time in the world to have this onda, to have this instrument to play. He played, he became a master of this instrument. This instrument became a part of his body. He had the whole time to develop this. And then he, he, he's in front of a Goliath, and with no problem, he puts a stone between his eyes. So can we say that, that Goliath had no chance? <laughs> but Goliath is the, is the victim. I mean, so is this player, yeah? or the player of, of the of the young pope, who is the leader of the Roman Catholic Church, the Roman Catholic Church, who is uh, about love, about reconciliation, about acceptance, and then he meets uh, a non, very corrupted and very bad person, very bad with the orphans and whatever, and then he's trying to be cool. But then there's a point when he says uh, he talks to God. He says, God, you need to do something. I mean, this is not it. You need to intervene. And then she dies. I mean, directly she dies. She has a heart attack. <laughs> so, so is, is he the leader or he's just like, yeah. Or, or the characterization of, of the fiction of, of, uh, of Colonel Gaddafi recently by, by Mr. Adam Curtis. So yeah, he's a terrorist. He was a terrorist. Huh? But then he, he presents him as a young idealist who is trying not to divide the people around him, but either to unify them. So he, he was uh, very active with his reading, his, his reading and his uh, talking to, to countries around, trying to go beyond the borders, but you can see, it. I mean, how he pictures, uh, depicts him is not like the one who is trying to divide. Then he played the great game of globalization and he was, so this, this, this play, yeah. So then, I think this, this setup can be a, can be a little bit uh, uh, challenging because then if you say there's no there's no noise everywhere systems systems uh, collapse and get back again at no time and then you can be whoever you want and then where is the truth and then where do you distinguish the noise and when do you distinguish the information what's objective and what's objective so all these themes are 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 uh, are contained in this question of the of the parcel. So then this can be a, this can be this can be challenging. I think this can be a little bit stre stressful. Uh, to, to continue work with with communication, there's this. Uh, so these two stories of, of communication. So there's the the Shannon story of communication in which you have uh, which is great, of course, in which you have. You know the system, you have a channel, you want to send a message from here to there, and then the whole point is to kill the noise. So it's a system that you know, you know that you're sending either ones or zeros, or you're sending an alphabet, and then you're trying to kill the noise. Or you have other system of communication which is more inclusive, more, more abstract in a way, when you say, okay, if everything in the world and it receives stores and sends information so that if we if we instead of trying to kill the information uh, to kill the noise in order to send a message you celebrate all this noise and you say yeah information should be here but let's not kill it let's just try to, to select it and this is and this is exactly what he's trying to what he said that the parasite does the parasite Selects, selects and groups the rare, the rare, yeah, the rare, yes. So then it's this all this noise without trying to exclude anything. So it comes, looks around, and it, ah, this is information. So this like two two different views ways to look at it, or or for instance uh, the story of, of truth. I mean, so what, what is truth? And then it's very much related to the collective again. So he says, okay, uh, this is a uh, uh, peers like 120 years ago. So he says, okay, the, the, the scientific community, they get excited 
they get animated by the idea of if you have a point, if you have certain truths that you want to reach, independently of the method, so for instance, he says, uh, to, to measure the speed of light. So you have, you can either look at uh, Jupiter and then look at uh, all the other astros, or there even you can you can use uh, Foucault's or, or, or what's the other name? No, Fissot's little machines to, to measure the speed of light. So then all of them, that reach, try to reach the same point. The point is fixed. Then all of them, even though I, even though their, vision, their 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 methods to reach that point are different, the more they get sophisticated and tuned, they are all uh, converging to this point. And then this is, you uh, know, in, in a way, this um, this this predestination is embedded to a certain definition of reality and truth. Or you have another definition of truth, which is uh, one of the Serge's story. Uh, that he said, okay, the truth is in the bottom of the water well. So a rat comes, and then he looks down, and there's the reflection of the moon. And he's like, ah, that piece of cheese. And then he jumps back. And then, of course, he just pees in the water, and then there's no cheese. And another rat comes, and they say, ah, man, there's a half a cheese here. <laughs> is it true? And they say, yeah, yeah, there's half the cheese here. Why don't you take another bucket, and then you come down, and then I come up, and then you can eat this other half. <laughs> so, so this is this is his truth. I mean, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so again, with this, this this collective. So in this collective, in this black box, when do you when do we distinguish the I and the we? So this is another like very interesting question. No? If we're all collectives and we are just moving around, where, where, in which moment I am I, and then in which moment I am, I am part of, of this group. And, uh, and then for this, then he, he, he develops the idea of a figure of, the, of, the, of an object, which is not an object. Of, of an object, he calls uh, the quasi-object. And then, so he said, okay, a community should have one object which circulates around. And then this circulation makes the collective. So then the collective is the me, the uh, us playing with these things, with this, with this object, and the moment it's, it stops, at that moment the individual, the I, comes. And when it continues uh, 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 circulating, the community keeps Alive. So this is this interchange of this object, quasi object, is this interchange is how the communities uh, get built. And then the, uh, there's the example of the of the of the football. I mean, that, I'm not sure if it's football, but it's ball game. So then there's the ball, and then the collective is really rotating around this ball. So it's not that the ball is. We are the the football players are circulating around the ball. And then the moment someone uh, 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 keeps it by, itself, by himself, I mean, regularly the coach says, you're out, huh? Yeah. You need to keep it, you need to keep it moving. And then you have, and in that moment you have the I, you have the we, you have the other we. Yeah, the, the, the other part. So this kind, so, so these kind of stories are, are, he's trying to, to, to develop and to talk about uh, this collective, this collective, this noise, this information, this truth, and and, and I think and I think that this characterization is not very far away from from the web. So I think the web can be as complicated that all these things, I mean, every, all these things that I, ha I, have, I have told you, <coughs> they, 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 leave, they can live there. So, the, in the web, we, we have different collectives as well. And you play yourself with different avatars. So, if you, if you want to share your work as a musician, you have your, your community, or then you, if you, you can have a YouTube channel and then people can look at you playing playing video games and there's a, a, a community for that. Or then you can go to the web and then uh, 
find things, trying to, to, uh, to ask questions, trying to meet people. So I, I believe that the web can be as complicated as all, all this, uh, at this re at, at the reality that we have now. And this is one of my interests. And then how I complement this is uh, with, with machine learning. So machine learning as a, as a subfield of computer science. And then basically what it is is uh, if you want to program a computer to cross the street, instead of saying, OK, computer, look left. If there's no car, look right. If there's a car, stop, wait. Then say, comes and then again, look left, there's no car. Look right, there's no car, then cross. So instead of, of, of setting this instruction, there is a okay computer, there's uh, 10, million, 10 million shots of people walking to, uh, crossing the street, learning how to cross the street. So this is, this is kind of the difference how I can easily explain what, what uh, machine learning is. And then this, we have it everywhere. I mean, this, and we probably we don't even realize. When, and then the mailbox, when a mailbox selects a mail and it says that it's spam, or when we are translating with the statistical machine translation, then it's just looking at millions of documents which were already translated by humans. And then when you introduce a new one, then it statistically gets a new translation or, or to, to drive a car. So you have a car with hundreds of sensors and then you drive for 100 million kilometers without having a crash and then you say, okay, now the car can drive that itself. Or you are Netflix or, or Spotify and you're listening to something and then they say, okay, maybe you may like this and there's a playlist. So this is, this is all around us. Uh, <clears throat> so then, so then I, I, I would like to talk about uh, my, my experiments as a, as a quest. So I, am, I, ha, I, I, so I, I would like to talk about them as me trying to find something or me trying to be comfortable with this. Basically, it's me trying to be comfortable with this, not, not being overwhelmed by being not being overwhelmed by not knowing what is noise, what is uh, uh, information, what is truth, or not knowing if there are paradoxical situations. So this is, this is me. This is a quest of getting comfortable with all these things. And in a way reflected to, to the architectural tradition, but I'm not talking too much about architecture. Okay, but this this part of this part. So then a quest for multiple char characterizations. So I navigate. So then there's a co this community, uh, Wikimedia Commons, over 33 million media files, just for you to take. And then uh, uh, program a bot, and then they say, okay, bot, give me this 2,500. Uh, so then, so then uh, we focus on, on a collection Google Man with 2,500 uh, pieces of Swiss masters, uh, client masters. Has, that's what they, they call themselves. So you, you, you write something, it's okay, take it. You take, make a sample, flora, fauna, landscape, architecture, but there are 2,400. And then not, it's not only the image, but some metadata or, or certain characterization of this image. So this image, you define this image by by the title, by the date, by the author, and so on. So then this is a free characterization. So with this technology, we can describe anything however we want. And in this case, we want to describe it in a way that we can find answers to specific questions. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll go back to this. So then, so then, just very fast, I tell you this is. Uh, so you have an image, and then you say this image is this, 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 and then you model it in, in a, a matrix. And then all this game of telling the computer to learn to do things, it's based on this. It's a, a matrix-based operation. Then a lot of uh, open source uh, libraries and uh, just putting together different uh, pieces of people who did something else. And then they, uh, basically, I mean, I'm, again, I'm not a computer scientist, I'm just putting things together. So you need to do something, most probably someone did it, and then you go to a community, and then you just type, and uh, yeah, you did it, and then you just tune it a little bit, and then you, you put it together. Uh, 
so then so then all these all these images are char we characterize them and then we ask questions in relation to this to how we characterize them for instance we say okay uh, can you arrange the space so I can have a look at the same date and technique, for instance, and then it, it changes. Or you say, okay, can you uh, arrange the space so I can I can have I can I can grasp uh, the location of, of the of of these pieces? So which one are closer to each other is because they are more similar. In this case, all this poster is. Answering certain question. So then, in a quest for indecision, so I can grasp things. Another community Tumblr, Tumblr, more most probably not Tumblr, uh, content sharing platform, over a hundred million posts per day. Most of them are for photos. So there's something there. There's there are things to look at. I think. So then uh, it's about blogs, and then you can just upload things or, or copy paste things from other blogs. And, and so so then you 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 write programs. Okay, just get me a bunch of them, and then in no time you you get hundred uh, hundred thousand of them. And it's okay. I want to grasp what is there. I want to know what, without decide what I want to, to find, without, without knowing what is there, I, I say, okay, I don't know where this bot went, so I just want to see what, uh, I want to start to grasp in what is there. So in all these blocks, they have certain consistency. I think this is also interesting because all these blocks, they have certain consistency, meaning that each block somehow looks in its right place. And this is regardless of the same thing being in different places. So one element is never defined. So it's not fixed to a, to a certain space. So then you have this, uh, uh, this is how you look at the post, this is how the computer, I mean, halfway the computer and, and us look at the, about that, this post. Again, you play with the characterization, you play how do you describe the block how do you describe it, then how you model it and put it in this matrix and then start to play with this matrix. So then in this case, in this case, I said, okay, uh, just plot them so I can start to see difference between them without knowing what they are. And then uh, check the, okay, these seem to be similar to each other but different from this. So you go there, you take a sample, and then you see things like this. And then, and then, without asking for architecture, I think you can you can easily label this as architectural thing. And it's okay. What is what? What are these people talking about? And then, without asking a specific question, you get this. You get that. I think you can easily label this. And then, same story. Get the the, the less different differentiated. Uh, yeah, but the, but the most inter interesting thing is that at the moment that you can label something that you that something rare happened and was recognized, you can take it put it in a, in, a, in a bucket and then run the all, all all everything all over again, and then it will start to spread again, and new things will start to emerge. Or in this quest for a rare, we can start grouping, and it's exactly this. So I have these buckets. I have these buckets of of. Blocks that I know they are talking about architecture. So, what this uh, program does is say, okay, uh, calculate the normal of this, of this bucket. So, a normality is calculated, and whenever something new comes from to this bucket, if it's out of the normal, is it, is, if it's rare, then it's reposed. It is brought to a, to a new space. So, this somehow is kind of looking for the rare things without knowing what a rare thing is. So normality is calculated, and whatever comes after, if it's not normal, then it's rare. And then this, this normality, it's always it's never fixed. So if there's a lot of rare, then, then this rare will become normal again. So there are these two things just running by themselves. 
or in a quest of noise, celebrating noise, they start empathizing. So when this is the dashboard, uh, you know, it's like a timeline, and you can see every, everything that your, your colleagues are, I mean, the people that you are following are posting. And 80,000, 90,000 posts per, post per day from a spread theme, thematical spread uh, Tumblr. So then this is noise, and then this is a celebration of noise. I want, I mean, this is, this, this was meant to be like this. This is supposed to be noise. N nothing clear should be there. Clear at first sight. And then, uh, but this does is then you have all this noise. You, 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 you want the noise. So you want this noise, you want as much as you can. And then you start saying, okay, this is what I want, I like, and this is what I don't like. So then you say, okay, this, I know I selected this, and so okay, I like things like this. And then that in one hand, and the other hand you say, okay, and I don't like things like this. So then again, you characterize the th three things in the same term. You have the noise, you have what you like, you have what you don't like. And, and from these 80,000 posts per day, then stories are built. So then this, uh, you can see this, 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 these clusters are different from each other, but within the cluster there are certain similarities. And this is by looking at the, looking at the noise and related to the things that I like and the things that I don't like. And and the things that come to the noise, it's of course noise is is not expected. So. You don't know what's going to, to come, but in a way you can you can start comparing the things that you like and you say okay, go here, go there. So then you have uh, different uh, different bots. You have different days. You have different days. You have different stories. And then again, this is circulating because whenever you find something that you're interested, you put, you go in depth and then you say ah this I like now. So then this three hundred that you have you have you have then it's three hundred and one. So then this gets into the loop. This gets into the loop of the thing that you like. So then the liking and disliking goes, uh, uh, changes as well. And then noise changes as well. You don't know what's going to come from there. But still you can, you can grasp at things. You can, you, you can empathize with this. So uh, finally I think, so this a quest, a quest for it changes. For, for talking. <coughs> so this this is about I mean yeah specifically this is about trying to figure out figure out which TV character can be the best fit to work for a Swiss architectural office. So I'm trying to I'm trying to make these things talk to each other. So even though there's no linear there, there's no linearity there's no linear, linear comparison between them. There's no obvious comparison, way to compare them. Uh, so on one hand, there's, so we just go to one community, Swiss architects, and then we uh, download, download the, the images and the text and, and whatever is there. And then on the other hand, we uh, request all the quotations from different communities and then all the characterization of the characters I mean, by third people. So then, this comparison is uh, is at the level of text. So then, you have architecture talking about architects talking about architecture, and you have characters talking about their life. So it's it's a, it's about the things that they say. So then, you start to 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 look at the things that they say, and then you start to find patterns. You start to find patterns, you start to, to model them. Use the, 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 so in this part, what the computer does is say, okay, these people are talking about these things. These, con these concepts are very, very, this, this character is talking about this concept very much. I mean, I don't know which concept it is. I don't know, a noun, a verb, whatever. And then, but then, it's easy to just recognize. And on the other, on the other hand, the same. So, Architects are talking about uh, build, project, have construction, and uh, and uh, characters are talking. In my case, was uh, Elliot Alderson. So then, by looking at what they are talking about, by what 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 kind of topics 
they emerge, then you can start comparing. And by this comparing, you can say, okay, from all the 650 Swiss Bureau, uh, 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 Swiss Bureau, then there, here there are five that more or less are talking about the same thing as this guy. And the other way around. And then these are the less common. So then in a way, it's trying to have these two different worlds <coughs> talking to each other about architecture or about life. So it's, it's to compare things from different natures. Uh, yeah, I think I, I, I have talked a lot. Uh, I don't want to make any conclusion. I mean, uh, maybe you would, I, I would like to, to, to hear something from you. I, 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 I know that this, this view of the world from from, from, from Sarah is very specific. And it's very, it's very specific, but at the same time, it's very abstract, abstract and in a way, pretty specific. And it's, uh, and in, in the same, in the, at the same time, at the web. I mean, it's very, very easy to feel overwhelmed by everything that is, that is uh, going around this, this, this space. Uh, yeah, so then I think this is it from, from my side. question I mean I just don't understand how you compare the noise or how you integrate the noise in this you say that when you have like this kind of uh, like uh, schemata or so like patterns mm -hmm. in the web you ask questions and so it's always a answer to a question somehow but then I think the noise is exactly maybe not the answer to a question, but the things that are yeah, exactly. the, there I, without being asked. Yes. So, yeah. I think that's exactly the, 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 the like, I mean, one definition of, of information, which is not noise. I mean, when, 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 some, when something stop, stops being noise and you start recognizing it, and then it becomes information and not noise. So then, for instance, in this case, so if you have this, all of this noise, so then, to put it simply, the computer learns what, is, what may not be noise for me. So because I, 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 I say, okay, look at this, and this, I'm interested in this. Mm -hmm. And then, and then uh, you will never, you most probably will not find the same thing in the noise. I mean, because because it's in con constant flux, huh? but then, but then by learning this, it can go to the noise and say, okay, this is noise, but then this is not, and this is not, and this is not. So then, so, so I, th I think uh, I think you're right. I, I I agree with you. Exactly, it's the opposite of noise, mm -hmm. and it's it's the celebration of noise, so we can find more things. In a, in a way, the more noise you have, more probability you have to find something rare. In a way, and this is this is this is uh, I mean, this is the, the, the interest and, and the promise that now you can really listen at a lot of noise. And but as soon as you find it, it's not noise. As soon as I find it, it's not noise. Yeah, it's not noise for me, but it may be noise for you. Yeah. It's there, and everybody's looking at it. Yeah, yeah this is. Yeah. Is that similar to appropriation then? I mean, you're kind of appropriating certain images for to tell a certain story or to make a story or to kind of select or the machine is appropriating certain images based on your, like, what, would you call that also appropriation in terms of the selectivity or is that? Uh, I, I, I wouldn't, I don't, I don't know. I, I think, I think this appropriation, it's, uh, I, mean, I, I think it, I would be more. I, I haven't thought about it like this, but I think the, the, the circulation is very important. For if, I don't know if you appropriate, so then it's that. <laughs> kind of, but it's also that selectivity. Like the appropriation can be for a certain 
trying to yeah, you can, you can appropriation for further questioning, I guess. In a way. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you, you can bring it to, to, to another space with another context or with, with, yeah, so then to another noise, I mean, yeah, I mean, but, but of course there's, there's, a, there's a moment of, of, uh, of interpretation and, and I think probably this is it at the moment of interpret, when, uh, when you interpret this, so then in a way you, you figure out and then it's as some sort of, you appropriate in a way, yeah. Which I think maybe would be different than like an ownership because again with all of this on the web where it's kind of this flux of images and then I think also this question of appropriation and ownership like property or where Sayers will talk about this is when you have it there it's kind of property less because everything is not owned in a way. You know it can be but then when it's owned it kind of pulls it out of this noise. Or even though it's not real, but you're kind of pulling it out of this noise to some point, perhaps. Or yeah, I think in this, in this, in this, uh, yeah, then it's, it's in a way ch changing it. I think. I think this is how he talks about it, not in, in a way that you 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 give the smell to it. I mean, it, it's not the thing, but it's the thing plus your smell. I think. In a way, I think this is the, the thing itself is, is changed by your smell. So then, if you smell it, like it smells like you, or rather, if it has no smell because it's your smell, so then it's yours. But then, yeah. So. Mm -hmm. I have a question that kind of relates back to the limelight and the, the text that you put on you and uh, Matthias that deal with curation and. You were kind of talking about that there is definitely a, a turn in curation and how do we actually curate now. So there is this moment where we started to self-curate. And there is this challenge in this kind of uh, traditional way of curation because it's not about um, collection anymore, it's about selection. So what, in a way, curators should learn <laughs> within this? Real. I, I, I think it's it's not only curators. I think it's architects. I think this is. I mean, this is this is the, the what's happening. I mean, everybody, all of all of the disciplines and non disciplines are getting challenged challenged by this. And it's not specifically to, to curators. But then, when I think it goes to the direction of, of digital literacy, so then then you need to you need to if you are a master curator in a certain in a certain way, in a very stable system, and then this other thing comes, which is changing the whole world around you, so then, in a way, you need to, to master these new tools. And then more than beyond saying, uh, yeah, and I, of course I don't know, if, if I knew, probably I would be a famous architect right now. But of course I don't know, but I have the intuition that it's, uh, uh, it, it goes very much to, to empathy, to empathy and to, to, to stories, to, to dramas. So it, 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 I would say that it goes to, to, to this direction. So what I see, it, at least in architecture, a little more clear, is going from, from concepts to dramas. So in, in architecture, I'm sure in, in art is very similar. This, this moment when, when architects and I guess pieces of art, they, uh, they they embody it, they embody certain symbolization of events of the world. You know, this is very well known in architecture. You know? So this this house is like this because the sun is like this and then, and then you have this phenomena that happens and then you, so so this is the symbolization of, of the world. And then I think with all this, I think we can we can go from this from these recognizing systems and integrating them to making uh, dramas. I mean to make them characters, not not to so then to make them characters and then to make them uh, to, to 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 give to give abilities abilities to to develop things and to talk and to, yeah something like this. But 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 I don't know. But then in terms of, of, of curation, yeah, I think what we were saying with with, with Nicola and in, in this text is that you need to master these tools in, in order to be a master of I mean, the next masters of, of curation most probably will integrate in a way or another uh, these tools, or they will. Yeah,
with someone else? Okay. Okay. I'll do first. Yeah. Uh, um, in this, in these quests of yours, uh, does it play any role whether you yourself leave any traces? If you create yourself any new noise or information, doing it <coughs> or um, traces? Yeah. Do you, that you leave anything behind which could be someone else might find and then. I think, I think at the moment what, what I am fighting is for privacy, so which is not traces. Or, or well, what, what this, is, this is one of the... Uh, so probably I, I should show it. Now. So then this is one, one, one prototype. So this is one computer that, is, that wants to gain privacy by celebrating noise. So, for, for instance, this, uh, all these recommendations from, from the social networks, I mean, or for even the, the set search engines, I mean, they know who you are, I mean, they model you, they, they know that you have this age, gender, and they, you are looking for bicycles, and then things from bicycles are coming to you, I mean, this, this kind of, 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 of privacy. So, the idea is, by celebrating noise, gain certain privacy. Privacy. So by making noise around you, you cannot be modeled. They cannot look at you because there, there, there is one single computer doing what you want to do, and 50 things at the same time which are nonsense to you. So then, this one single computer with this one single IP is doing paradoxes or contradictions, and then it's it's only you at home that know what is it that you want. And then, in a way like, in a, in a way like, uh, by introducing what you like and what you don't like, you just, in, in a way, this is very abstract, but this is kind of working. <laughs> it's more, but then in a, in a way, you can just get close, you can just present what you like, and then everything will make sense, in a way. But it stays privately. So, in terms of traces, I think at the moment, it's the other way around. I mean. Or even many traces, so you, they can trace you. Yeah, something like this. Um, I have a question, which is a bit different topic. You said at one point that if you take CS um, uh, idea of the parasite and uh, project it to the web, then you would find yourself ending up with uh, different communities. Um, that hold together, but they communicate and interact with each other. Um, there's a quite loud opinion that the exact opposite is the case, um, in that you end up with communities, but the more uh, these communities, uh, the stronger they are, the less they communicate between each other, the more they are isolated. Um, so basically, the more noise you have in this, you know, if you would transfer it to the theory. The more noise there is, the less noise they would take up, the more they would just selectively find their own. Yeah, I think this is, this is, uh, I think this is right. I mean, totally, totally agree with you. This is uh, some sort of a paradox, huh? mm -hmm. because, uh, because then, with this, if, we, if we bring these this, uh, tools and techniques, we are only making mirrors. We, we are developing mirrors. Mm -hmm. Because we're only exactly. we're only looking at what we want to. to but then this doesn't it doesn't work with the theory of Selena. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I mean, this is I think this is this is a, a very strange yeah. uh, situation because then, yeah, everything is noise, but you can only hear what you want, and then mm -hmm. and then these bubbles get super, uh, I see. super bubbles, and then you just don't, don't you just don't know who, what's someone from the other bubble thinking because mm -hmm. you say, I don't care about this. Mm -hmm. can, can I just add something? I think that the major problem here is that you think that the person that goes to the community on the web is actually you. Yeah? So if you are able to decouple yourself and give yourself multiple faces, then you don't care about this anymore. So you, 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 have yeah, to enter, you enter the web mm -hmm. not as you, 
but as a kind of a multiplicity of, of faces, di different faces. Yeah? So you're, you're saying this is what it is? Yes, yeah. I think on, on this level then you are able to, to escape this kind of a problem. But, but I, th I still believe that there's a, there's, I mean, there, there's a problem, huh? because then it's really we are developing just, just mirrors, and then, and then uh, these mirrors, of course this is a mirror, but then uh, uh, you cannot predict so with the, the elections, and the election in the, the last year. So predictions were like, wow, this will never happen, and boom, it happens. Mm -hmm. And then there was the wire, and then all, I mean, people who were on one side, so if the both sides, they were looking at what they wanted, and then they both, they were both winning, they were both, and then, and then the moment came, and then it's really like, it was really like, like this, and then it's, it's, it's really, this technology, it's, pretty much not very, you know, it's not very social in this way. Mm -hmm. So I think also the problem with what you said just earlier is that if you do it like this, if you just go on the web and just act like you're in multiple cells, then you're forcing yourself into an unnatural uh, behavior. Then you can also just say, okay, let's just go to this different system, to this other bubble, and check out this bubble, and then, then the theory would also not make sense. But if you just act or behave natural and these it's also it's also called finally um, the um, balkanization of the internet then you just stay in your own little bubble and you don't care what happens in the other bubbles around uh, i think this would be the more natural yeah. now we're getting into the question what is natural yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no but i think for instance it is a uh, uh, tough is, is that no he's just playing uh, playing every all the games mm. I mean, the, he's still him, but he's mm -hmm. playing the he, he's playing the the, the seductor, mm -hmm. and he's playing the friend, and he, he's playing all of them. Yeah. It's, it's, it's some sort of uh, uh, dishonest, what is it? Dishonest. But then this this honesty that we call this honesty is just in decisiveness. So just just so it's not decide. It, mm -hmm. It's not decided. You have not decided to be one. Mm -hmm. So just before this moment that you say, oh, the, no, and the, and no. Mm -hmm. So then, and then he's still one guy. But he's playing all this. Yeah. Yeah. But, and I think this is the point, we kind of can play with it. Once you have the awareness that, sort of also even with the searching, there's a self-fulfilling prophecy. You know, the same with science. We get the answers that we want to hear because it's based, all, everything is sort of based on our calculations of, that creation, so it's always in this mirroring, kind of that self-reflection, but then at the same time I think there's the playing. Once you understand or accept or acknowledge that that's what's happening, then you can start to play with it, and then you can play with the, the, yeah. the mother, the wife, the daughter, and sort of start to play with that, even though, but you're still aware that you're always yourself playing, you know, at that same time. Yeah, then, 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 then this may become the new nature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was one more. Just a small one. Um, you said all the way in, in the end that um, you're comparing, you're trying, you're looking at five or six bureaus or potential bureaus, and then you're trying to find the actor that fits in this bureau um, by researching a like, certain what adjectives, you know, what what they're saying, yeah, and then comparing these things to what the bureaus are saying. Mm -hmm. um, isn't aren't you afraid that you're just like very superficially comparing? Um, meaningless words. I think. I think. Uh, <clears throat> no, for it, it, it is true. It, it is just compared by text. Mm -hmm. I mean, and then in principle, you can compare them. You, you can you can make your own. You can construct your own plane of comparison. Mm -hmm. you, you, I want. Mm -hmm. I want to, to, to compare them in, in these terms. Mm -hmm. I think it's. I mean, it's, it's not a, a fully developed idea, of course, and then it's, it shows, when the results, it shows uh, that one bureau was talking about uh, the corrupt, the corrupt city, mm -hmm. and it was the number one, but then this, uh, the bureau was talking about corrupt city, but then, of course, originally it was in German, and then with the, with the automatic, with translation, for some reason it, it translated as corrupt city, but uh, probably it was not corrupt city. 
so then immediately it popped out and then uh, this character uh, from Mr. Robot then of course is anarchist and then he's, so then it was immediate, was, was immediate, immediate. But then uh, beyond this I think the, the gesture of, or, or the quest, I mean this is an experiment uh, to, with, to share with these students. But then the, the quest is, is uh, and then it shows that that is possible. I mean, you, you got it. Yeah, you say yeah. it's it's, but then the some sort of big picture or or the the, the, the main gesture is to com to to say look we can compare things not non linearly. Mm -hmm. I mean it's not x and y, and and, and and say the development of the city is linear to the to the size or this kind of. Or, or so you're actually doing thing. this by bringing, by bringing both sides down to this linear level of words. But, the you, but then you're just comparing the linear. Yeah. But then the, the, the process is not linear. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, you need to construct a plane for, 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 for comparison. But then this plane of comparison is not x and y. It's, it's, uh, as, as I show you, it's, it's, uh, it's yeah. a millions of observations, and then there are millions of characterization of, of each observation. Mm -hmm. that, that, so uh, what I'm trying to say with this big picture, the big gesture is to say, OK, what if? Uh, what if we can say, okay, if I like, if I like uh, this food, and if I like this TV series, and if I like this kind of clothes, what kind of architecture should I like? So this is this is kind of, of the, the, the gesture that, that mm -hmm. I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. and we put things and then we blend it. I have a comment on that. Because uh, the argument was that maybe computer is just correlating these two different ways of uh, expressing, for example, text from a TV series and text from our actual office, and maybe what they what it finds similar is just uh, meaningless. But there might be also in my mine and your characterization of the same relation mm -hmm. case that you find mine meaningless and for me to find your meaningless. Mm -hmm. The point is that there is no objective ground on which you can make this comparison. But what computers allow you to do is to construct your own objectivity. And I think this is the point. So this is and, the, and there's also a paradox because how can it be your objectivity? The objectivity is, is only one. But that's actually what is the what is the case. And that's perhaps also uh, an answer to the question about curation, no? because in, in your work, if I understood well, you are building private instruments, of that. so you're privatizing such knowledge. Um, and uh, one might say, yeah, if you are a scientist, for example, one could argue, okay, if this data is completely biased, uh, uh, as in, in the previous discussion. But that's not the point, because you are working with, you're not working with collections anymore, you're working with aggregates. So it's aggregates of private, um, privatized, um, minimal privatized um, uh, interest. So you're working more with affinities, and I feel like the, 